Hey you guys, so I recently broke up with my boyfriend and I didn't think that I was going to share this experience or this story just because it's not that big of a deal and it's kind of private too, but I decided to share it because I felt like the girls really needed to hear about this. Um, so there are two major points I'm going to make and I'm going to try to keep this very short. So number one, the way that God has carried me throughout this breakup is really nothing short of amazing and unbelievable. Usually after a breakup, I'm a mess. Like I've been known to cry in the club over a breakup. Like I'm telling you days, weeks, you know, and the fact that that has not been my experience this time is only because of God. Huh? And I've been really trying to get back to my relationship with this him street. first and foremost, so that he is leading my relationships from now on. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. <laughs> You can take the woman out of chaos, but you can't take the chaos out of the woman. Modern women love chaos. That's why they can't get good relationships. That's why they die alone. That's why they'll never get married. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do first and foremost, y'all. Say it with me. What are we gonna do? We're gonna roll that clip. Number two is, I feel like a lot of times when we all see these breakup stories, especially coming from the woman's perspective. It's always like this horror story, like, you know, the stuff that she's been through and what he put her through and all the stuff that she put up with. And we all look at her like, girl, why was you in that relationship? Like, why did you stay? But when I tell you guys that that's not my experience at all, like it just wasn't. My ex was a great guy. Like even after we broke up, still hey, sending yo. flowers to my apartment, you know, like just a great guy, but for somebody else. And we didn't break up because of anything that he did to me, anything that I found out or anything or anything that I did to him. We literally broke up because just of small things that led me to understand that this was not my husband. And so I needed to make room for my husband by exiting that relationship. Um, but I'm telling you, the way that he treated me within this relationship was so good. He's raised my standard. And you guys know that my standards are already high to begin with. But my ex treated me so well in our relationship that it was like if if the next guy he's made it harder for the next guy because if the next guy isn't coming like my ex or better then off the rip you can get to step in. what i find a lot of women are in this situation they get with a guy he's good he's awesome nothing's wrong but he's just not good enough to marry what is it about women that you don't want to marry. And I've heard this from multiple women. Women always say, yeah, he was a great guy. He was a perfect guy. He was an awesome guy. He was great, but I just, I just felt something was missing and, and we didn't get married. There's always something missing. I believe that this is the issue with women. Women want a cookie cutter man. Yep. They want a man that is cookie cutter, that fits them every aspect. They want a simp that's going to cater to them and spoil them, but they also want a hood guy that will put them in their place. And then they also want a nice guy that they can control and walk all over. And the fact that this guy is still sending her flowers means that he is a simp. Yep. He became a simp. But if this guy was so good and this guy was so perfect and this was the guy that you looked at and said, I want to be with him. Why didn't you marry him? Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> Listening to a woman like this won't get you single. You don't need to listen to a woman who can't keep a man. This is a woman who cannot keep a man. This is a woman who A, doesn't know what she wants. B, 
doesn't even know what a good relationship is because she had one and left it. And C, a lot of you women just don't know what it is to be in a good relationship. And I talked about this on my live and I'm going to talk about it now. A lot of women have been in broken relationships, whether they've been growing up in traumatized homes, whether they're, they grew up without a father, they grew up with a single mother, they grew up without a parental figure in their lives. And you have to understand that how you are raised determines what your relationships are going to be like later on in life. So you take, for instance, a woman that's been through trauma, gets out into the world, goes through more trauma, goes through trauma in a relationship. They're going to expect trauma. They're not going to expect anything to go good. They're going to expect things to go bad. A lot of women love chaos. They love being yelled at. They love being taken advantage of. They love to be with a man that they can control. They love arguing. They love belittling a man, dominating a man, controlling a man, because that's what they're used to. That's what they're used to. And when you take a woman that's been in chaos, been in confusion, been in delusion her whole life and then give her a good relationship, she's going to reject it because that's not what she wants. Modern women love chaos. That's all there is to it. You can take the woman out of chaos, but you can't take the chaos out of the woman. Modern women love chaos. That's why they can't get good relationships. That's why they die alone. That's why they'll never get married. She got your ass. We live in a society where sexual gratification and being a sexual object means more to a woman than being a wife. We live in a society where being a wife is shunned and being, a, being an ether is congratulated. We live in a society where there's more baby showers than bridal showers. Everybody wants to have their own person, but nobody's willing to work to get it. Ladies, you need to heal. You need to step away from the chaos, confusion. Step away from the hood guns, the bad guns, the sagging pants, the guys that smell like weed and get with a hard working man who can give you what you desire. But in order to do that, you have to stop listening to women like this. Start listening to men. We control the access to marriage, not you. So why would you listen to yourself, tell yourself about how to marry a man? It's not going to work. You need to listen to a man give you the keys to the kingdom of marriage. And then you become the woman that this man desires. That's how you get married, ladies. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.